This is the story of poetry. By me. So there once was a young boy. He was maybe ten years old, having a terrible day. Children at school were picking on him. His mother was very sick. His father was terrible to his mother, and to him, and his little brother. So, he takes a pencil, puts it onto a piece of paper. He tries to see what he can do. Whatever comes out, he allows. He writes a beautiful poem. He shows it to his teachers, to his mother, and his brother. They all say it's wonderful and he should do more. Many years later, he's still writing poetry and it's amazing. The only difference now is he despises poetry. He hates it with every fiber in his being. He does it for millions and millions of dollars. So many people love his poetry and he despises them all. So one day, he writes his resignation. He only found it proper to write it in poem form, but he enjoyed this poem. Seeing as he enjoyed it, he saw the light. Every letter he got from a fan and he rejected, didn't send a letter back to in horrible rage, he sends a letter back in poem form, giving them advice, tips, or past experiences they could write about. Many of his fans were very poor and just saved up enough money just to buy one of his poems. One of his poems, one of his stories, books, whatever. Now he's sending them letters directly from him, and they feel like a piece of him is with them. A few of his fans start writing and become very successful, and he goes to every one of their doors and warns them of what he felt, the fact that he despised poetry, but only because he was doing it to survive. He warns them all that poetry is not something you can survive on, but it is something you can do just because. He's saying, if it is the one thing you want to do, then you may do it as a career. But be warned. And he would walk away. These people kept it in their mind. And this man knew he would continue with poetry, but for a different reason. Every time he made the millions from a book or a large poem an epic or an ode, he would give most of the money to his poor fans, or to people in need. And this man knew now why he was doing poetry. He lived in a small hut, no longer a mansion. But one day, his brother became very sick. He had absolutely no money. The doctors assumed they said they could help his brother, but it was for a very large amount of money that nobody had. Nobody in their family had that much money, not even the poet himself. He had just given it all away to people that were sick and in need. He writes a poem about it, saying how he's so worried his brother only has a week or two to live. And all his fans come to his door, and they each give him a small amount of money. All these small amounts of money added up exactly to as much as they needed to help his brother. After this had happened, the poet finally quit poetry. He had run out of ideas. He couldn't write of anything any longer. He was completely done, but as another final resignation, he writes a poem to every fan, to his brother, and to his mother. The night after writing it, he passed away, but in the poem, he had requested that this poem be placed on his grave, and so it was. And that's the end of my story. The poem that he had written to be on his grave will be in the description.